Leo, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Leo. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Leo placement you resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information will all be linked and listed. We will pull oracles at the end, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Jumping right in, Leo, I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience in advance. Your first card out this week is the Queen of Swords. It's air sign energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be important. Could have that in your chart. We have the Three of Cups, the Fool card, Major Arcana, the Emperor. Aries energy could also be important. Some of you got something to say to your boss. And I think it's time you say it. You either have recently said something or there's some sort of need to take a chance on either saying something to some sort of authority if they figure here with the Emperor. Whether it's a boss, whether it's your dad, whether it's your man, your brother... Whoever it is, something needs to be said. A truth needs to be spoken. Queen of Swords is all about truth. It's all about clarity. It's all about communication. And with, her, you know, she's open to communicating. She's open to communication. Three of Swords. Ooh, that's a lot. The Moon card, Major Arcana, the Three of Swords, the Knight of Cups, Major Arcana, the High Priestess, and the High Refined Pisces and Taurus energy. Heavy on the Pisces. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords. Mm -hmm, truth. Definitely, this is all about truth. Something needs to be spoken here. There's a truth that needs to be spoken. I don't know if you're holding back, especially with the High Priestess here. High Priestess is all about closed lipness. Very tight lipped individual. The letter B or J could be important to you. Very tight lipped individual here with the High Priestess energy. But I also think this is speaking to your intuition, especially with the Moon card here. But heavy emphasis on secrets. Something not being said. Either you're not saying something or someone is not saying something to you. But I think that's going to change with the Fool card here. In your future energy, this is saying someone's going to take the, take, take the chance and I think express what needs to be expressed. For some of you, this could be a friend that needs to express that has something, you know. Especially if this is romance, there could be someone in your friend circle that is not telling you how much they really care. Because the Moon card is all about emotions as well. That rules how we feel about things and it's like hidden emotion also fear it's like i'm hiding my emotions because i'm afraid how you're gonna react or i'm afraid how it's gonna what it's gonna mean or or this could be happening around holiday season with the three of cups also two threes here three three thirty three could be important to you and you have three major arcana so heavy emphasis on the three energy for you taurus energy yeah some sort of commitment it's like someone's in love with you and they haven't been telling you this up until now or they haven't been telling you that they really want to commit to you. The King of Cups is all about someone with deep emotion, usually unexpressed, but all, with all this secretive energy here. But I think you already know. I think you have some sort of inkling that this person um, is not just wanting to be your friend. Or if this is someone you're dating, I think you kind of get the vibe that this person um, sees a future with you, but they have not said it yet but very much feeling um, energetically. But it's only a matter of time because the emperor is all about taking action. It's all about taking action. And it does seem like it's this emperor that's afraid to be hurt. With the moon card and the three of swords, someone is afraid to be hurt if they express something. They're afraid it, they're afraid it won't be reciprocated, but they're going to take the chance anyways to do it because it's the truth and it needs to be said. By not saying it, the chance has, the, this situation has no chance of... Um, progress with the five of swords there if it's not said there's definitely no chance of progress so if the, the fear is no progress or being rejected either way if nothing is said there will be no progress transformation with the death card scorpio energy yeah communication eight of wands but magician very much i'm gonna make it happen i'm gonna shoot my shot for some of you it could be a boss that wants to you know they're not sure that you want to Move up in the company and they're like, okay, I'm going to shoot my shot anyway because I think this person would be great for the position. If they want to take it, they can take it. But at least I, you know, ask the best person I thought was good for the job. But this is more so leaning towards some sort of connection you have with somebody. Some sort of secret feelings here that's not being expressed. And I do think it's feelings of love. I do think it's feelings of, um, you know, wanting to spend a long time in some sort of connection, especially with that five energy of the Hierophant. That's all about committing, deep commitment, dedication. Could even be a marriage vibes here. Someone could be planning a um, 
proposal, maybe they're afraid you'll say no. Or you could be afraid someone's going to say no. But it's like, going to take the chance anyways. Got to take the chance anyways. You can't win if you don't play. Guidance for Leo, please. So we have Taurus, heavy Pisces energy, Aries energy, um, Cancer Scorpio, and Aries Leo. No, uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Mm-hmm. Trust very much what that fool energy is about. Someone's got to trust that they're being led to do this for a reason. They got to speak the truth. The truth is there's some sort of secret emotion, secret feelings here. And I think they're deep with the King of Cups and the Moon card. It's very deep, very deep emotions, very deep love. But someone needs to trust the past life relationship. You've met, known each other before. Mm -hmm. some, some of you, it is definitely a friend. That's about to tell you. <laughs> I don't want to be your friend. I'm done with the friend thing. Guidance for Leo, please. Thank you. The end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. Could also be some sort of Saturnian, um, some sort of karmic lesson for somebody. Could also be dealing with a Capricorn. And the full moon could also be a timing. Capricorn season, that is the following season. Mm -hmm. By the end of the holidays, which is Capricorn season. New Year's. Okay, spicy stuff going on here. Some of you could be getting proposed to on New Year's. That's just if you have somebody. If you don't know you ain't got nobody, then probably not you. But for a small selection of you, someone is thinking about proposing on New Year's. Guidance for Leo, please. But there is a deepening of connection that wants to happen. Say yes. Just say yes. I told you. Definitely some sort of proposal here. Could even be a job. A job proposal. Could be as simple as that. But it's going to require you to have more responsibility whatever this job proposal is. It's like you're going to be, a, you're going to be someone that um, has authority. Or someone that gives uh, people direction. Or, or, you know, give people, gives people direction, yeah. But someone is very nervous about asking you. Very nervous. Some of you will definitely say yes, though. So if they're nervous about you saying yes, they don't need to be. Trust. There's no need to be. Because whoever's thinking about proposing, most likely they're going to get a yes. Surrender now, number 39, yeah. Um, what else? Get you one of these, Leo. Moth to the flame. This is what someone is being drawn to. With the moon and the king of cups, it's like... They're very much feeling led, being led to just do it. Especially with that full energy here. here. I think you know. I think you know. I think they think it's a secret, but you're picking up on it intuitively. You're picking up what they're putting down. The spider senses are tingling. Guidance. Thank you. Your best is more than enough, I promise. Yeah, someone has a very, um, they're very hard on their self. A lot of self-doubt. A lot of self-doubt. No need. Your best is more than enough. Your best is more than enough. Is that everything? I believe so. Okay, Leo, that is your reading. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Do not forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.